Get to know your Apple Watch and learn more about some useful gestures and features starting in watchOS 26. When you receive a notification like an incoming message, you'll feel a tap on your wrist. To respond right away, raise your wrist. Then you can tap the Apps button to the left of the text field to share your location, send an emoji or a GIF, and more. Or you can tap the text field to dictate or type a response. Let's scroll down and share our location with our friend. You can access the Smart Stack from your watch face to view widgets that contain timely information. Just turn the digital crown and scroll to access more widgets. You can even add your favorites to make sure you get the information you want. On supported models, you can use one-handed gestures to interact with your Apple Watch. The double tap gesture lets you take actions like answering calls, replying to messages, and opening and scrolling through your smart stack. Just tap your index finger and thumb together twice. You can even customize what it does in your Apple Watch settings. The wrist flick gesture helps you dismiss notifications, timers, and more. Just turn your wrist away from you and back to return to the watch face, for example. Then, dismiss a notification by performing the wrist flick gesture again. If your notifications have been stacking up, you can find them all in Notification Center. Just swipe down from the top of your watch face and scroll through your notifications. Once you're caught up, you can clear one from this list by swiping left across it and tapping the Delete button. To clear all of your notifications at once, Scroll to the top and tap Clear All. All gone. Control Center lets you quickly turn on Do Not Disturb, helps you find your iPhone, and more. To open Control Center, press the side button. To close it, press the side button again. Want a fresh appearance for your Apple Watch? First, touch and hold the watch face. Then, you can tap Edit to customize the current one, or swipe left or right to change to a different watch face saved in your collection. If you want to create something new, swipe left all the way, and you can tap the New button. You can also use Siri with your Apple Watch. Press and hold the digital crown then say something like, Remind me to pick up dog food in the morning. Okay, I added it. Thanks, Siri. To go to the home screen from your watch face, press the digital crown. Now you can tap any app to open it. Let's open Activity and check how our rings are doing today. Turn the digital crown for more detailed activity information, like your move goal, your exercise minutes, and more. Let's close those rings today. To view all the apps you've used recently, double-click the digital crown to open the app switcher. You can tap an app to reopen it or scroll to view more. Notes is new to Apple Watch starting in watchOS 26. Let's tap it and check it out. Nice! If you need to make an emergency call, press and hold the side button and drag the emergency call slider to the right. This attempts to call emergency services and send a text message with your location to your emergency contacts if you have any set up. You can also keep holding the side button until your Apple Watch issues a warning sound and starts a countdown. When the countdown ends, your Apple Watch attempts to contact emergency services. From this screen, you can also turn off your Apple Watch. Tap the power button at the top right and drag the slider to the right. 
To turn it back on again, just press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. This is just the start of what you can do with your Apple Watch. Now you're ready to explore more of what it has to offer. Not all features are available in all regions, on all models, or with Apple Watch for your kids. Some sequences in this video were shortened.